So thank you for joining me today. No, right. thank you for having me. This is so dope. No, I love what you're doing. And to be a part of this, I mean, come on. No, this is this is definitely for like people with hip hop, you know, culture, you know, brown, black people, entrepreneurs, and and you are all of that. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's a lot of that. And you know, with the dilemma we're having right now with the, you know, um pandemic happening and it's changed a lot for people. It's changed a lot for businesses, especially small businesses. Yes, has it. It definitely has, for sure. So I'm like, you know, I'm in Georgia, I'm in Atlanta. So as of this Friday coming up, they are reopening some things. I've heard. Yeah, I've seen. I heard about that. So massage, you know, massage therapy, tattoo artists, barbers, salons, a lot of one-on-one stuff. They're opening back on Friday and Monday. Restaurants can have, have patrons back into the restaurants again on Monday. So we'll have to see how that works out, right? So Yes, we would definitely have to see. I mean, how do you feel about that? Are you ready for that? Or you ready no, for not, because um, our numbers keep on going up. And we're not having, we don't have a lot of tests happening. So we, it's not like we were going down or flattened. Every day, our numbers keep on increasing. So it really right. made no sense to me. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want my favorite spots to go away either. You know what I'm saying? My favorite Right. So that's, why it's true. that's what it is. So it's, it's like, like, you know, mm-hmm. there's just a couple of spots we like here where we are in Sandy Springs, which is like pretty much like uptown compared to like Manhattan. Right. So we're just as far north of Manhattan like where Washington Heights is at for Atlanta. So okay. we're in Sandy Springs and right underneath us is Buckhead. So, you know, I don't want certain places to, you know, not come back. Um, that's just me being selfish. Right. So it's a fine. It's a fine balance, though. It's yeah. like we want to have safety. I want my spot to come back. But then let's make sure everyone survives, gets rid of this shit. If it doesn't come back, you know. Hopefully they they come back a different way, a different time. I know. I hope it doesn't come back. So I know you have a small business, and what's the name of your small business? So um, the name of it is the Skin Recipe. Mm-hmm. Um, I originally came up with the whole concept of the Skin Recipe last year, uh, last May. Okay. Um. So yeah, next month would be the one year anniversary. And basically, I've been in the skincare business for five years now. 2015, um, I went back to school and I got certified in the state of Florida to become an esthetician. And since then, I was just kind of like working gigs, working in spas and all that good stuff, trying to build my clientele. And then I came back to New York and I kind of had to do more schooling. So I went back to school. Um, and then still was like doing gigs and not a gigs. And then I finally was like, okay, I want this to be like a hundred percent. My, my full-time job is my business. Um, and I made a decision last, last May. And that's when I came up with the name and then here we are. That's fantastic. So we just go Florida. You say you guys go back and do some more schooling in New York. Yes. Um, so does your certification not transfer over state to state? Correct. It didn't transfer state to state, which was a bummer because it's, and it's also a scam if you ask me, in my opinion, only because we're using the same books. So it's not like it's any, anything different we're learning or, you know, it's the same formula. It's the same thing. I guess states, they just want you to, you know, it's a money thing, you yeah, know, absolutely. The states, they want you to take out those loans and all that BS. But um, it was it was definitely challenging for me because I was like, F, man, I got to, you know, do this all over again. But the school that I went to, uh, I was lucky enough that they took some of my credits. Okay. So they took some and I kind of, it was, it was okay. Like I was working during the day um, for Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I was working in the office for them. And then at night, right after I was going to school. So I wasn't getting home till like 12 a.m. Sure. That was my everyday. That was my norm from 10 to 12. Mm-hmm. Um, Monday through Friday because I didn't have class Saturday and Sunday no work so that was my that was it Monday through Friday no life <laughs> yeah you were killing it was it. crazy it was crazy yeah man so you already committed because you spent the money spent the time yeah. the effort to do it again 
Really, yes. And that was and that was a challenging thing for me because I was like, do I really that was a thing. I was like, do I really want to do this? Like when, you know, when I came back and I found out that it wasn't as easy <laughs> to right. be an esthetician. Like I thought I'll just have to take a test and right. yeah, I'm good. Um, but that kind of I didn't want to say hindered me, but it kind of I wasn't at ease. It, it, it I had to kind of sit, sit and think uh, for a minute. I'm not going to lie and say, oh, I was just, yes, let me just go all in. I just wanted to think because I wasn't, I was just unsure. Um, but then when I realized that this is my passion, I love skin and I really want to, I see a future with this. I was like, let me do it. I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> so did you see yourself being the owner right away or is it just that you just had a passion? Oh, yeah. Immediately. Immediately. That was my goal. Since my goal, all right, before me even thinking about becoming an esthetician or that, I always wanted to open up a spa. Okay. That was just my thing. I love the whole self-care, going in, getting pampered, just, you know what I'm saying? That whole self-healing, meditating and all that I love. So I'm like, how do you open up a spa? So one day, five years ago, I was just Googling and I seen all the requirements and I was like, esthetician? I was like, oh, you actually have to get a license for this. I was right. like, you know what? Let me look into it. And then at the time I was living in Miami. So they had a lot of really good schools. I was fortunate enough, really good schools. So I got into a really good school. I was there for like half a year and it was a good experience. And I loved it. And I was like, immediately in school, I was like, I'm going to open up my own spa, something like I'm going to have, you know, women come in and just leave my spa feeling amazing. And I even at the time I was having the mindset of just women. But now I'm like, no, it's time to educate the men too. Like my products are made for men and women. So I think that was a huge standpoint for me too, was like just learning as the year goes by and just being like, okay, men don't really take care of their skin as much. Maybe we should target them too. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm bad with it. I know I just yeah. wash my face with soap. And See, I'm exactly. You're probably using dub soap. I hope it's not dub. I, I don't know what your aunt buys. I know I just use soap. Gotta, it, get says, it just says soap on the bar. It just says soap. That's it. I don't we got to get the skin recipe um, in, in your bathroom. We got to get it in there. No, we have to. We have to. We have to get the whole kit. <laughs> Hold on. I, I, we got we got a secret member. Hold on. We got a guest appearance. Hey, look at he, you making a guest appearance. He uses my stuff. He don't know what he uses, but he's using my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of bottles she got. I just start spraying stuff. But listen, we got to get the skin recipe in there. Yes. We, Absolutely. We got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Finish your line. Hey. I really love the Jay-Z and Biggie in the background. I you love it? it. So, I think you did it just for you. Culture. I love it, huh? I did it just for you. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> oh, for the culture. I'm from Best Eye, so this is my, you know, right from Tommy's there Projects. There we go. You send right the there. tone. You send the tone, for sure. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I think that that was just, you know, it. I immediately thought, like, yeah, I'm going to definitely own, like, my own spot. So, realistically, right, the five years, you're grinding... You're working, you know, did you see, what were the hiccups you had? What were the challenges that you had uh, going through that process? You had so, um, I've had many, many, many challenges. I think, um, I think one, one challenge that I first, first faced that got me, that had me a little scared was when I was almost ready to graduate. I was already approaching the graduating phase and I had like a, uh, a tab that I had to pay the school in order to get my, my license. And I remember I didn't really have all the money. So I had to get put on like a payment plan for that in order to get my license. So I was like frustrated. So it took me like three months, but I did it. I got it. It took me like three months. But I remember that was my first real hiccup because it was like, I got to graduate and all of that. I got the whole shebang, but I didn't get my actual license until I paid <laughs> that test. So it was like, all my friends got their license and, you know, the girls I went to school with, and they was already, like, trying to get their, their gigs and taking their clients in their homes. I was like, fuck, I got to, you know, I got to grind it out. So that was my first hiccup, but that was a good experience. <laughs> and, yeah. it, you know, with, with it being said, I mean, hey, shit happens. It definitely built character. Um. And then another challenge would be just now that I think I'm facing, just with the whole, you know, coronavirus and just, 
I guess every small business owner is going through it, but just trying to figure out like, am I making the right decision? Should I keep, you know, should I go this angle? Should I go like, no one really has any real answers. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Because everyone's going through it. But I think this is the time to where you're going to be the most creative you're going to have to be. Absolutely. To to sustain yourself, sustain your business. Like this is really going to tap into you as an entrepreneur to say, do you really have it? Because if you can get through this, as you continue to grow, there's going to be other things that will be challenging, but you're going to be able to probably maneuver and mm-hmm. pivot whenever you want to, you need to. But this is the time that's really okay. going to challenge you and your efforts to figure out, okay, I'm locked down. I can't touch nobody within six feet. You know, how mm-hmm. do I still provide experience, service, product, you know, all that, and then some A plus now, right? A1. Well, that's what I did the products. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let's talk about the products then. Yeah, well, the products, see, the products didn't even happen overnight. You know, it's okay. so crazy how timing just works itself. But um, I've known since last year, because the thing was, when I was doing facials, people will always ask me, well, what are you using your skin? And I'm like, oh, I just make stuff at home. Like, I do my own thing. Like, I really don't buy over-the-counter products. And they're like, what? Well, I want my skin to look like yours. And it only made sense, like, okay, I'm doing these people faces and I'm using other products that I don't use. Like, that just right. doesn't make sense. I'm, it's like a contradiction. So I said, you know what? I really wasn't into the whole chemistry thing of it. Because I, I remember in school, they taught us how to, like, do soaps. And I kind of shied away from it because I wasn't really so interested in the soap making. I like to really get in the nitty gritty and get, okay. like, down and dirty. But that it helped. That information helped because it helped me now with making the products. So I just remember last year just diligently just searching and looking up ingredients and trying different things on my skin. And I would have like my friends test, like I'll use them as my guinea pigs and my parents, you know, my my family and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, I got to formulate something that is going to be meant for everyone. Like everyone can use it, like all age types, you know, preferably 16 and up. But you know what I'm saying? Like everyone can use it. It's not harsh on the skin and it's only... The only goal that it is is to enhance the the skin that you already have because everybody has really good skin. It's just about maintaining it and finding what kind of skin type you have. And once you find out your skin type, there's so many things we can do and tackle to maintain this, the skin that you already have. The beauty, it's an enhancement, that's all. So I was very, very picky on just trying to be careful with what I mix and what I do. You know, I came up with my own little special ingredients. And then when I opened up the suite in December. Hold on, back up. What was the process like though to start mixing shit? Like where did you, (laughs) where did you like sourcing it to like, did you get it down packed the first time? Like what was it? Like what was the experience like? Oh, the experience was hell. <laughs> I'm going to be <laughs> honest. It was hell because, you know, you, my, I always wanted to get a, a dermatologist. That's my goal is to get, to get a dermatologist, dermatologist uh, to test it. Excuse me. But kind of being your own dermatologist and kind of like doing trial and, ever, and error gets, it, it, it gets pretty intense because you're like, shit, maybe I got to put less of this. I'm not going to make a whole batch over. And like, you know, it, it, it's crazy. It gets crazy. And then it's like, what worked for my skin, but it didn't work for her skin. Right, right. Well, that's a problem. You know, that's something that you got to focus on. Okay, why didn't work? What does she have? How do I make it to where it's not harsh? Okay, I should use less of this. So let me take out this. Now I'll start all over again. And then, you know, I had my, um, um, I remember I had my laptop. I had another laptop and I just had one note. And it was just, I kept constantly changing the measure every day. It was like new measurements, new things. It was just driving me crazy. <laughs> um, it was driving me crazy. And I just remember being so frustrated. My dog was like growling at me. He wants me to play catch. But I just remember being so freaking frustrated. I was just like, oh, it was so many times I wanted to quit. I was like, you know what? F this. I'm not going to do the products. Like, I'm just so what, what made you stay with it then? You wanted to quit. So what made you stay with it? Being constantly asked, why don't you make your own product by my clients? My clients really motivated me, honestly. They were just like, oh, I'm using this. And then they'll tell me. And then they will also tell me the things that they were using for their face. They'd be like, one will say I use Dove. One will say I'm using St. Eyes, Apricot Scrub, which is like, ah. Yeah, I, use, I use Irish Spring. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please don't. 
thing right now. I'm cringing. That is horrible. That's so drying to your skin, even to your Tell body. Me like, oh my God, no. We got to yeah. get you right. But, you know, someone will say all these things. I'm like, oh my God, no wonder. You know what I'm saying? I mean, of course, I want my clients to come to me on a, on a daily basis, but I also want them to see results. Don't just come to me and get your face clean and you look good for those few days. And then it's right back to, you know, the same thing. I've actually seen my clients like progression when they come to me once a month i've seen when they came to me with hyperpigmentation which is like dark spots or whatever from them picking and it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter and eventually going away right. so i think it's all i think that's what it was it was just motivating me to see like you know what i could actually make a difference a real difference in skin it's not just doing the service it's actually about doing the service being knowledgeable and just knowing Knowing your shit, like really, just right. Yeah, you're, like, you're providing people the whole package, the whole package. Exactly. The, the product and the expertise that you have behind you. Exactly. Exactly. So that was like my main, my main goal. But yeah, it was, it was challenging. Definitely. So how many products do you have? Right now, I just have three. Um, but I, I'm gonna expand. I want to add. Um, right now, I'll show you. What you got? Uh, which, and explain, my, explain what each one does and how yeah, you use it. So it's a three-step kit. Um, and this will be the cleanser. So as you can see, I use it a lot. Hold on. First, I want to say, I, I like that bottle. Like, Thank you. Like, the font is dope. Thank you. It's very clean, very chic, very not too much. It's not busybody. It's very straight to the point. And I was very um, adamant on not putting the directions right on it because... I want you to just focus on, you know, this part, step one, and then the directions and everything comes in a small pamphlet that you oh, get. That's, that's dope. Game. I like that. That's dope. So it's like you just get the product. You don't have to worry. You don't have to squint your eyes. You don't have to do all of that. It's a welcome. It explains everything you need to know right from the pamphlet, and you can always go back to it. You know what I'm saying? Dope. So that was, that was big. But this is the cleanser. And these bottles are uh, eco-friendly, so I okay. love that about them. Yep. And the um, the ingredients, of course, is organic, so I don't use absolutely no harsh chemicals or no chemicals at all. Um, so this is the cleanser, which will be the first step. Uh, you should use this twice a day. Um, I like to use it in the shower because it's just perfect. It just I, I can't forget that way if it's in the shower. Right. You just want to wash your face. Yeah. So... This is really, really good. I, I'm not saying because this is my product, but I just love it. <laughs> say it. Say it. It's really, it. It really good shit. It's the I, best shit out there. It <laughs> is. No, it's the best shit. And I say that because I would like the form, the way how I form it, I'm telling you. The way, and, it's, and I love milk cleansers. Something about milk cleansers that does something to me personally because... I oh, know that, you're talking a different language, Mama. I, what is that? What is the fuck's a milk cleanser? <laughs> so Tell a me, milk please. Cleanser Give me on. A, a milk cleanser is like a different type of texture of cleansers. Like you get cleansers that you just squirt out, and it comes out of like different textures. Now this one would be considered as like a milky because of the texture, how it feels, how it looks. It's it almost looks like it's edible. Honestly, the products, my products look like it's edible. Get the fuck out of it. So. With this, I also added the, the key ingredient to this is lavender and peppermint, which is super good for your skin, especially if you if you experience breakouts and you get clogged pores, that really opens up your pores and it cleans it out. So those are like the two key ingredients that I put in here. Okay. Um, and then the second step is one of my favorites um, is the mask. Now, the mask, I like to refrigerate just because refrigerating your products, it does no harm. And it feels so much more better when it's applied on the face. It's like a cool sensation. Um, don't get me wrong. Like, if you don't refrigerate it, you leave it out. It's going to work the same. I've tried it. It's perfect. You can leave it out for months. It's going to okay. be perfect. Fine. Um, but the mask is my favorite only because I'm such a huge fan in like chai. I love chai teas and all types of stuff. And chai is really good for your skin as well. It has a lot of antioxidants that and fatty acids that we need. Right. So I added chai seeds to this. So that's why it's kind of my favorite because when you put the mask on, it also has uh, one more key ingredient that I'll share is um, aloe vera water. Okay. 
which is really good. It's really hydrating and rejuvenating. So this mask, it kind of just brings you back to life. So step one is like you get all the, the dirt out. You get all that stuff. It's like a clean slate. You're starting fresh. Now, since you started fresh, you might be a little dry. So now you want to hydrate yourself with the mask, which has so many key ingredients good for hydration. And then the chai seeds with the aloe vera water. So the first one, you're stripping everything out. Right. Exactly. I don't want to say you're stripping because it sounds a little too harsh, but you're basically getting out all the bacteria, all that dirt that you've had from your long working day or whatever. You're getting all, right. all that out. You're starting fresh, clean slate. Gotcha. Um, now you want to follow up with the mask. Now the mask, it's not going to do you any harm if you use it every day, but realistically, I know people aren't going to mask every single day, just okay. for time wise. So you can use this twice a week, three times a week, and you're going to still see results. It's okay. So that's what I do. I use it three times a week because I myself sometimes is really busy. And with a mask, you actually want to let it sit. So I let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. So if you really don't have that time every day, it's not going to harm you. If you do it three times a week, twice a week, you're still going to see results. Gotcha. But what I do use every day is these two. Now, here's the serum. The serum is, I guess, my favorite too. <laughs> Another favorite. No, <laughs> it is my favorite. Um, the serum I love is because it's so, so lightweight. And this is like key because you get serums that are super heavy and that's not good because when the when, when you use a moisturizer that's really heavy, that clogs your pores. That's how you get acne. That's how you, you know, you get all that stuff that you don't want. So this being light itself, like literally three or four drops, you put massage it and it, it goes a long way. And that's what I love because it's that light. So it's not heavy on your skin. And then I put uh, pieces of chamomile flour um, that's actually imported from Egypt. Fancy. <laughs> uh, I gotta throw that out there. No, because it's really good. It's really good. Um, and I found this really good grower and it's it's amazing. It's amazing chamomile. I even made myself like a hair serum and I put the chamomile in it. Just love it. <laughs> so I put it in here because chamomile is super good. Super good for your skin. So these are the two that I can't go without. Like I need to cleanse my face every day and then after I need some moisturizer. So here's what I use. Okay. And then of course, a special treat to myself is the mask. Twice, twice a week, three times a week. Self care Sundays, Mass Mondays. There you go, back to back. Got you. Okay. So you don't use that every time you use the other two. No, but it doesn't hurt. Like I said, it doesn't hurt if you can. I think for most people, realistically, it's a time thing with masks. Okay. Like to see the best results, you want to let it sit for ten to fifteen minutes. Right. Now, if you're in a rush, you know what I'm saying. You're not gonna really sit ten. You're not gonna let it stay that long. So I know people will get through the the cleanser every day. That's why I say always leave it in your shower because you, you can't miss it. So you know you got to wash your face. And then after you wash your face, you're going to feel like, okay, it feels great. It feels good. Now it just needs a glow. Now I just need a nice little glow. And also what's good with these, with these two things as well is that for men, if you have a beard, you can use this all over for your beard. Mm -hmm. this get, you know what I'm saying? Gets that in there. And even with this, with the serum, if you, now the serum it's not going to prevent um, hair growth because it's not a hair growth serum, but it will add uh, vitamins and moisturizer and all that good nice. stuff. Will it make it softer? Because it, it feels brittle. Yes. No, it will. Absolutely. No, it will. I, okay. the, be told, I use this on my hair, on my scalp. Okay. I just put it in there just because of what the ingredients that I have. It's good for your scalp. It even makes my hair smoother. It smells good. That's another thing. These smells that I've formulated is insanely good like i'm not like you know and it's crazy because usually they say oh if it smells too good it's not really good for your face no right. it's just the total opposite it's just natural everything right. is just natural that it is good for your face That's awesome. okay. question so, you got on hand now in stock so i can make a purchase right now yes i do i have and i'll, I'll ship it out tomorrow gotcha <laughs> okay I'll so, so you sell this stuff separate you sell like in a package yeah. So the kit, okay, so a separate each product is $45. Um, now, if you wanted to get the kit, it would be cheaper because it will be valued at like $140 something, um, $130, $135 to be exact, but with tax and stuff. But if you do the kit, I it's, uh, I got it down to $110 for the whole kit. Nice. Right. Okay. I'm actually saving. 
Right. You know, right. you're actually saving. And um, I think that it's so worth it. And you see results. Like, if you're consistent and you really use it, you're going to start to notice results within a week, two weeks. Like, consistent basis. I would say definitely two months tops because that's even your right. normal turnover, your, your skin turnover rate. Mm -hmm. You're going to see results. Gotcha. Absolutely. Like I've seen results oh, and gosh. I suffer from, you know, hormonal acne. Like that's my thing. I don't get right. regular acne, mm -hmm. but when it's that time of the month, that's me. I get it bad. That's and that's too. when I rely on my mask. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. That's when I rely on my mask the most okay. during that time. Okay. Because it just brings it, it brings me back to life. You know what I'm saying? I get so dry. I'm picking, I'm red. I'm irritated. The aloe is the key ingredient for that because aloe is soothing to skin. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So when I'm picking and I'm doing all that stuff, it just soothes it. And then if it's cold, which I like to leave in the refrigerator, it just feels good. Okay. You know? So, I got you. I'm gonna mail I'm gonna mail it out. I'm gonna mail it out tomorrow. <laughs> I, have kid, I have a kid to mail out tomorrow. So. No, this is this is wonderful because you're you're educating me. And you're gonna be educating yeah. a lot of a lot of people, a lot of men especially. Because yes. we don't we don't take care of ourselves like that. You yeah, know what no, I'm saying? No. And for me, you know, I, I'm a clean guy. I like to groom myself and shit like that. But I never got deep down and dirty like that until I started sharing all this stuff on, on, on the counter. And I just started mm. fucking with it. And just like, and, see, you was intrigued. See, I and didn't I know, know what to use. I was, blind, I was blind to myself. <laughs> I need more husbands like you, Theo. That's what I'm saying. I like that. When you're intrigued, you will learn. And that's why. I because he's gonna be using all my stuff. Well, no, the one you're buying is for me. No, that's not. I'm buying yes. for you. That's no, you're gonna get yours next week. This one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys are too much. But seriously, I'm telling you, you guys are gonna gonna see gonna see results. And even so, too, like it's so not even harsh. Like um, even for like Matthew or, you know, even if uh, how old is Maya now? She's 12. That's what I was going to yeah. ask you because she's starting. So to definitely she has natural. Now, the thing, with, the thing with that is if she was to use this, just not every day. Okay. Because her skin turnover rate is actually faster right now. Right, right. So you know what I'm saying? We don't want to strip any oils that she actually really would need. Oh, but this is not going to do any harm, though. Okay. That's the good thing about it. So okay. she was to use this like once a week, like a cleanser, like to cleanse her face. Mm -hmm. That's going to be good. Once or twice a week. So what about someone who has like severe eczema? Severe eczema. That's yeah. good. So I'm actually going to start making uh my I'm gonna bring back my eczema soaps. Like I had a uh, oatmeal soaps. So if you if you want, I could actually make you a custom because oats oatmeal, raw oats is really, really good. Mm -hmm. I can put that in like the cleanser okay. or the uh mask for you. And that's well, gonna and be for me is um your cousin Jacob. He has severe eczema, but he's eczema, it yeah. a lot. But then, you know what too? Thank you for telling me that. So you know what I'm gonna do too? Not because my soap base comes in a few days from Amazon. Okay. I'm gonna send out the kit. I'm still gonna put the raw um oats in the in the cleanser for you because that's that's gonna work for him. That's gonna be really good. Okay. And then I'm gonna send um some uh oatmeal soap on me. Okay. So you got y'all can oh, start you, Yeah. So we actually just so dope oatmeal soaps. That's gonna be good. No so, more Irish. So Titi, throw out that Irish Spring BS. Oh no, I use Dove, but yeah. <laughs> that's what we're gonna, that's it. And Dove too. Throw it out. I'm gonna get y'all soaked up. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make some good oatmeal soaps. I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. I mean, I need you to send me the link again to the website. I can't find it. Sure, sure, sure. So I'll send. Let's go to IG. Oh yeah, let's. Let's go to IG. <laughs> Boom. IG has all that stuff. Action. Go straight to her website from her IG page. Got it right here. Got it right there. Oh. Boom. Done. Yeah. Done. So we actually this, right? We know that because of the times we're in, it's tough right now. Things are shut down. How are you with your product? Like, can you supply product to your customers right now? Yes. You know, um, fortunately, I'm fortunate enough that I am, I think, cause I've been so on top of it, Right. you know, there are certain things that are out of my control as far as like the shipping, it getting like certain ingredients to me. But as far as me getting the product to my client, I mean, my, my customer in a timely matter, without a doubt, 
Like you're not waiting a week or two weeks. I'm literally shipping it out, right? If anything comes up, it's like the post office. I'm like, now the post office is only open a few days a week right by my house. Right. And they open at 10 and they close at three. And then the line be outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's a lot. So, you know, I mean, it is what it is, but that's what we got to do it. But I make sure that I'm doing my di- my di- diligence to get that over within. So what, we, what we're gonna do is when we get the package, we're gonna do an unboxing video on it. That would be great. That would be awesome. Um, I'm just a little sad right now because the actual the nice box that I'm that I'm getting won't be in for like two weeks. But that's okay because that's I'm. Fine. I'm gonna- I'm going to send some, don't worry, I got something for that. Okay, and we're going to um, do the whole, we're going to do a whole video. I'm still and everything. giving you guys an experience because I got some things I ordered from Etsy to kind of okay. be my secondary. So it's still going to be an experience. It's still going to be really nice. That's dope. So don't worry. But when the boxes come in, I already got something that I wanted to send you guys because that's, that's going to be key right there. So with, with this whole you know, pandemic happening, did you have to change any type of vendors? Did you were able to keep your vendors? Were they able to still support you? Or um yes, I didn't actually no, I'm sorry. I didn't actually have to ch- um I didn't have to change any vendors. Um I think it was just more so for me just trying to how could I say like I don't want to say I'm I'm low I don't want to say I'm looking for products that are low low cost effective than what I usually get. But um, I'm just trying to look for other options, any other options that I might see. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, I think my most, what's important to me is getting everything in bulk. So now that things are a little bit different, things a little bit more expensive, it's like you kind of want to shop around now to make sure that you're still getting high quality, but you're also, you know, it makes sense. You know, it makes sense packaging this up. Yeah. So you, still, kinda, you still got your shop in Williamsburg, right? Yes, I still have my shop in Williamsburg. Thank God. That's um, it's been it's been tough. I mean, you know, it's it's been a whole. I'm not even gonna lie. It's been a whole. You know, keep it open, not keep it open. What to keep it open? But what I will say, what's been kind of, I guess, a sign that to be kept open is that these people that I'm renting from, you know, they they want to work with me. They're not. They're not just giving me, well, here's what's going to happen. You got to pay this and or else we're terminating your contract. They're on some, hey, let, let us know what you need. We'll, let's work together. And I like that because it's like it's, it's still stressful because I have two rents that I have to pay. I, I have an apartment and I got that. So it's like, Ugh, you know, what do you do? But to right. have them in your corner, actually like, you know, we're working with all the tenants. We understand. Just let us know. That, that, that feels good. You know, no, that does. That makes you feel you no know, secure, and it does, and it makes you feel like okay, so maybe this is it's meant to be. Maybe I, I gotta still keep yeah. this going. Absolutely, you know. I think I, I think that's just hundred percent right there. I suppose I think communication is key, right? I think you can't hide from it. It is what it is. If you know you right. can't pay your rent, then you have to speak to the owner. But I like, yeah, listen. What can we do? Obviously, right. I know I'm not the only one right now. You know what I'm saying? So. What, what, what's going on? I think that's a key point to any entrepreneur is communication. You can't treat your 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 your, your business, your small business, like the way you would treat your home bills. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Exactly. You said what? I was told which one should I pick, the first class package service? She said, which uh, package should you pick, the first class package service? Or... Whatever, if she picks first class, yeah, no, because that's, that's fee. it's gonna be a three dollar fee, but that goes to PayPal, so that doesn't even go to me. Okay. Yeah, that if they try whatever that that stuff that goes to them, that has nothing to do with me. But I I make sure I ship it out. If you get it one to three, you get it within. I sh- you get a tracking number within one to three business days, without so, a doubt. So if so I just going through the whole process right now, people are listening to how the ordering process is. Yes, I love that. See, I you love understand? that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> But it is pretty easy because, like I said, really is. PayPal is, is pretty dope. I just I get an email notification. I have my inventory. I had a lot of inventory at the suite, but obviously, when I, you know, it's closed, so I had to move it into my house. Um, and then I have my little packaging. I pack it up, and I send it right up. I go right to the post office, pay my little shipping, and, you know, it, it gets taken okay. care of. And then I check, check your notification, see if you got the order. I think so. Yes, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> We got it. 
Thank you so much. Thank you for real. It, it really no, we gotta we gotta support. No, it really means a lot. You really don't know. It means a lot because it's you know it, it was such a dear project. Um, like just to get the whole suite, like that was a very challenging project too for me. I can imagine because you know you just when you you get sometimes you get those people who aren't as optimistic as you are. And, um, you know, I'm very optimistic. I'm very like, okay, well, I'm going to find a way. We're going to find this out. Like, you know, whatever whatever doors we got to knock down, whatever we got to do, we're going to get this done. And with the sweet thing, you know, it was like, some people just weren't as optimistic as I was. So it was like, ah, oh, you sure you want to do? You sure? You sure? It was all the you sures or the negativity, I would say. Yes. And I still did it. And I don't regret it at all. Even with the whole coronavirus, you know, I will say I felt discouraged. I might even lie. I felt like, fuck, you know, what am I going to do? Like, I got two rent. Like, what am I going to do? Yeah. You know? And immediately I said, if I got to give up my apartment and if I got to go move and downsize or rent out a room somewhere and focus on my business, then that's what I'm going to do. And then that's true okay sign of that. entrepreneur. And I'm still, no, it's true. And I'm still okay with that. I'm really still okay with that. You know why? Because I still don't know, everything is still kind of uncertain right now. You know, even though I'm very, very fortunate, I'm very thankful, thankful, for real, that I have those type of people who are like, listen, we're going to work with you. We don't want you to just get rid of it. We don't want to terminate your contract. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, who's to say months go along and something? You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't want to throw that in the, in, the, in the energy, you know, throw that out there. But I am willing to make that sacrifice. And I think that's the key. I, I feel like that's the key is, if you love something, you have a passion, you're going you to make a sacrifice. You're going to do whatever you can to keep it running. It's like my baby. It's like my child. I got to nourish it. I can't just abandon, you know, my child. Yeah, absolutely. And it's been, that's been probably, that's, that's another challenge. It's just knowing, like, you might, some, there might come a time where you're going to have to make a sacrifice. Like, if this is something that you really want, you're going to have to make a sacrifice. And that's one valuable lesson I've learned throughout this whole thing. So let me ask you this. How many people you've dropped because they got in your way? Oh, I'm still, they're still dropping. I have nobody. Last of the Mohegans, you guys, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, you know? And, and. Because that's real shit. You know what I'm saying? People tend to act real I'm funny sure. when they yeah. see success come around for somebody. But you know what I've learned too? I've learned that the deeper issue underlines with the person itself. Mm -hmm. For instance, if the person isn't per se happy in their situation or happy with what they got going on, you can't expect them to be happy for you, at least genuinely. Right. And I think that has been the underlining issue that I've been noticing with me. Like, it's crazy because I get people that, literally all my orders that I've been getting are like, people I haven't spoken to in years or I went to school with, or I haven't even met having just support is outside of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously you guys, you know what I'm saying? But when I'm talking about the nitty gritty, yeah, like that's sad. You know what I'm saying? That's sad. And it's like, it, it makes you think, but instead of me saying, Oh, you know, this person is just a hater. This person is just says, no, the real issue is that this person is unhappy with themselves. And instead of, you know, throwing good juju and, and spreading good love so maybe they can get that back 10 times more. Not saying that you're doing it for that reason, but you know. Uh, too much for people to do that. Pages. Yeah, spreading love is contagious. Showing support is contagious. And even if you didn't support me in a way, and let me tell you, because you guys have been supporting me without even purchasing. I'm talking about moral support. I'm talking about we spent, you know, hours on, 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 on FaceTime just giving me ideas, thinking of things. That is support. It's not even about, of course, you know, buying, that's that's a great deal of things, but even just liking a post, sharing a post, saying, hey, you even looked at, you know, the other day you reached out to me and said, hey, I like what you're doing, but let me give you a suggestion. Just look out for this. I was so thankful because I'm like, wow, you have my, there are people out there that have your best interest, that they're really just looking out. They're not really throwing shade. They're not really, you know what I'm saying? Any Anything that we've ever spoken about has been constructive criticism. It's been like, Absolutely. yo, I think you should go this way. Do this, do that. 
And at each little task you give me, each little homework you give me, I'm like, I'm on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm on it. But um, I think, yeah, I think that's what it is. It's just people aren't happy with themselves or what they got going on. So it's hard for yeah. them to spread that love. And only if they knew that spreading love is so contagious. It's so contagious. It's like a sneeze. Like, that yeah, but I think about it, right? so people, everybody wants to use certain words to clarify what they are, what they feel, but without having the meaning behind it. When they, back in the day, they called each other besties or, oh, this is my brother, this is my sister. And to me, yeah. you shouldn't use those words unless that person really represents holistically all of the above. You know and what I'm you're saying? Like, you know, I've been battling, not to cut you off, that's a battle of mine because I'm so loyal, I'm loyal to the fault and that's just me. So I go by... If I've known you for a certain time or we've been through a certain amount of things together, like I'm rocking to you, you're in. Yeah. Like that's it, you're my family at that point. But those be the ones that really don't, they don't rock with you how they really say they do. Yeah. You gotta tell them, you gotta remind them, yo, can you post me? And to me, that, sh that should be a given. Cause I got people that don't even know me is just posting me. Or don't even, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, should, I feel like me reminding you is kind of like, ugh, that's a little, you know, that's when things get a little weird to me and I start to look at things funny. Yeah. Because if you my friend, you my dog, I rock with you, you got something going on, you got to tell me twice. I'm on it. Yeah. And you listen, know? I think, I think that's the biggest thing. Anybody. Like you said, you got to do it from the heart. You have to yes. mean it. If exactly. you, if you want to push yourself, I got a lot of people in the background I'm interviewing this week. Um, we even did a mini episode of our family this week that I'm editing right now. Oh, that's so dope. And, and, gonna... and it's called Spanish, <laughs> right? So, oh, I love that. So we're going to put that out there. We're still videoing this whole week. I'm going to put some more episodes together. And I got a bunch of other people I know that I've, I've you know, that I've got to know throughout the years, especially last year, that they're saying, yo, as soon as it comes out, let me know. I'm going to post it on my shit. That's me even having that. That's just me talking to me. Hey, I'm planning on this. What you got? And one of my boys in Colorado, he sent me to-do list as well. He said, yo, do this. Boom, 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 boom. And I was already on it before he even sent it to me. I was like, yo, I got you. I'm already, I'm already here. You know what I'm saying? So it's people Very like easy. that. Absolutely. It's people like that that you want around you. And you know what? You also want associates too. You need to have that associate that if you need to fucking go hang out and rock out, there's that one person you can fuck with. If you need that person you can have a drink with that's going to listen, not really yeah. do a bunch of shit. You have, you have, yeah. yeah, you got to have those people. And they stay in that zone. They don't become the best friend zone. They're just there for that. You know what I'm saying? And it works out that way because there's no expectations. There isn't. So you don't get disappointed. You're like, you already know, like, okay, I don't expect this person to really support me because of X, Y, and Z. Or I don't expect this person to go out with me at a certain time because they got kids. Or I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know. Absolutely. So there, that doesn't lead to expectations. Absolutely. And it, again, you got to fuck with yourself the most. Love yourself the most. Grind the fuck out. I understand that. You know what? But it doesn't matter what no one thinks because no one's going to get or understand what you're doing. So, I, you know, I could be whoever to you, but if I don't get skin, I could be like, yo, why she fucking kiss my skin so much? I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to give two shits about your shit. Mm -hmm. But that discourages people. Because when you try to talk to someone about it, and they're like, yo, I don't understand you. You're speaking a different language to me. And you, just, you have to stay strong in those, in those times. You got to make sure your head is tight. You know, this is for sure what the fuck you want to do. Because it goes from, they don't understand you. So then they start seeing your movement. I kind of hate her, right? Then when you're really super successful, I told her, stick with it. And she took my advice. And then they never, they never told you shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, super... yeah. I can't wait for those to happen. That's <laughs> what I'm you... <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for that to unfold. So I can be like, what? Yeah. And when you super make it, it then people are like, the gym? yeah, then people all of a sudden knows you. <laughs> and you haven't spoken to them in years. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And then you won't have those who are going to throw shade. You know, I, Absolutely. I'm, I'm prepared. I know what this is going to bring. I know what this is going to entail. I just want to be the voice of my generation. However, I can make a difference, even if it's about educating on skin. If that's what I'm, if that's my purpose, then that's my purpose. Hey, your, your niche is your do. niche. People made, made niches out of everything. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to fucking sew hats... You be the best hat sewer on the planet. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly. it. So I want you to be the best skincare representative on this fucking planet. We're gonna make sure we get you there. You know what I'm saying? Thank like, you, Kylie Jenner. Like, who? 
<laughs> oh yeah, because next time we talk and we do this I love again, you, Patty, but uh, it's not, <laughs> not, 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 not the skin recipe. And no, real, not. It's not. But that's, but see, that's good marketing, and I learned from that. And let me tell you, I really take heed to like things like that. Like I love how Rihanna and you know Kylie just put that out there, like how they did it, because Kylie, yeah. you know, she's made, she's a billionaire off of this. Right. And Rihanna said, "At that, I'm still gonna throw out my own beauty line." Yeah, it took a risk, and she in her beauty line is, I would say, amazing, only because it also caters to uh, our yeah, type. Yeah, she has as, you 50, know, shades, literally fifty shades of brown. Literally, literally. <laughs> yeah. it, 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 yeah. it, I don't even like makeup. I don't. I'm not even a makeup girl. But it's like I have a few of like her lip glosses and I got like a, a tone, like little cute little knickknacks. And I'm like, wow, like she really did her thing. I'm going to stop you right there real quick. Mm -hmm. You just said something that made tremendous sense to me. And this is for the people out there listening, right? If you're going to be a subject matter expert in your field of what you do, you still have to play the game and buy other people's shit. You still Absolutely. have to know the product that's out there about your competition, about what is good. And say, you know what? This is good shit. It may not be mine, but it's still, it's still good shit, right? And that's why, and thank you. And that's why, for me, that's my competition. And I'm okay with that because mm -hmm. I want to get there. Like, right. I, I'm inspired by that. Yeah, you should the be doing research I, development on everybody's shit. Yeah. Like, pencil, this lip gloss. Yes. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. Like, Absolutely. with Kylie's thing, like, I, I, you know, I like she's she's a, a market genius. Like, her team and what she got going on, like, that's what the F I need. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why her product sells. Because Absolutely. she's the thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. But when we want to get down to the nitty gritty, Okay, that looks good. You know, she's a face that, but what really works? Exactly. What really works for your skin? What's diverse? What are you also putting on your skin? Because all that stuff is a whole bunch of chemical junk. I'm gonna be honest with you. Correct. Uh, so it's like you, you also. That's why me, I'm here to educate <laughs> and to spread the word. And it's not to bash. It's not to bash. I, again, I, I love Kylie. I, I, I look up to it. I'm inspired by her work. Same thing for Rihanna and all the other uh, beauty gurus out there. I'm inspired, but I'm just going to be real too. Like it is what it is. Yeah. It's a market thing and I love it. And she's good at that. And I'm like, I'm learning. I'm learning from it. I'm learning. From it. I'm hoping to be at that spot. Billionaire Forbes list. <laughs> like with speak the, uh, the product, you know, no, speak this. You do, do, you're ahead of the game. You're way ahead of everybody else. You're way ahead of probably your own expectations at this point as well. But think about it, right? So, yeah, the shop had to close right now as far as just because of what happened with the pandemic, mm -hmm. right? But you still retain, you still have it. But now you you still have a product, though. So imagine if you didn't have a product. You know what I'm saying? So you diversified yourself in two different ways, but still within the same field, which is amazing. So if you still have the product, still get your brand out there so then when you do open back up, and people are ready to get their, you know, their, their faces touched by you, by the queen of skincare. You know what I'm saying? Then they can get the product from you right then and there. They can bring the product, which you could have already, already bought it too, right? Through the pandemic. They said, I want you to get your own product with me. And you have all that. You know what I'm saying? So it's dope as fuck. And as you continue to grow, as you continue to pivot, learn more of this business and the success you have. I'm assuming since you're, you know, you're certified in, in, in Florida as well, next move will be, hey, let's get a spot in Florida. Oh, that's so. That's yeah. That's my you know ideal. That would. That's my goal. My goal would be to. I mean, that would be ideally great for me. Like as a startup right now, like open up something there, be back and forth, got a place. You know what I'm saying? Be back and forth, and then actually go back to school. So I'm gonna go back to school, and do do the next level, which would be laser removal, Botox, lip fillers, all that good stuff. Wow. You know, med spa. That's like retirement. That's like okay, I can actually run a med spa. Don't have to physically be there. Got other, you know what I'm saying? Other med estheticians. And you know what I'm saying? That'd be the goal. Yeah. That's like key right there. And that's what I want to do. Like, I really, I'm dying to get back into school. I just need about three, four more years. And I'm good to go. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And, and, and that's how you get to where you want to go to. Spend your time on learning, getting mm -hmm. better, lifting yourself up and not stopping. Because you can stop right here. But yeah, why? exactly. Why now? No, I'm going to yeah. keep going. Exactly. And that's the beautiful yeah. thing about this business, too. It's like, 
beauty business is an ongoing business. There's always something new that comes out. There's always something that, and that's a beauty. I love it. I love that because you're always learning. It's a constant, it's, it's just always going. No, you're right. And especially now that, that men are getting into it, you know, back in my day, men really didn't give it two shits. You had some, some dudes, back in my day, we called them metrosexuals. They don't use that term. Oh, was like too into themselves. Yeah, yeah. They, don't, they don't use that no more. So, but, you know, we used to look good, you know, when I grew up in Brooklyn, but we weren't doing no facial. We weren't doing, we weren't care about our skin. We just, you know, maybe put some, some type of lotion on, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That was it. And keep it moving. Yeah. Now this is like, yo, oh, this is like. Irish spring. No, no, no. Yeah, no, it's spring. No. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Yeah. We got to get a whole routine. We got to get you a whole routine. We I'm can't. open to it. Listen, your, your, your titi opened me up to it. I've been seeing all the shit she be putting on her face. And I'd be like, hmm. I said, babe, can we do a facial night together? She was like, yeah, okay. And we do a facial night together. You know what I'm saying? See, that's cute. Okay. Let's so, do it. I need some footage. Yes. I no. So, I'm, 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 <laughs> once we get sure the package, yes. we're going to do a whole treatment for you. We're gonna do a whole, a whole um, open box, and um, we're actually gonna use it. We're gonna give you, you know, we're gonna give a review of it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and I want an so, honest review too. No, we will. We'll give you an honest not, review. I'm like, not your niece at this point. No, exactly. <laughs> we'll give you an honest review, and we'll let you know. You know, we'll let people know, like, hey, this is this is what it is. Like, this is dope shit. And I only speak to dope people on my podcast anyway, so. Thank you. Well, this was great. I, I feel good. I, I appreciate you for taking the time and like doing this, having me on. Your podcast is great. Like, I love it. Then you got Biggie yeah. and Daisy in the back. So, you know, got you. it's just the two. Exactly. <laughs> no, like this is like I said, the podcast for brown and black people, entrepreneurs, music artists. I spoke to a lot of underground artists who, who actually have, I got one, his name is Mac uh, Farlow. He's from Philly, no, he's from Pittsburgh. He got a deal with Rock Nation. I spoke to him before he Yo, got his deal. Okay, I spoke to his manager to beforehand. So there's like, there's mad people I'm getting to speak to, getting to know before they even hit it. And that's what I'm looking for. People who are just starting, people yes. who's up and coming. Because I already know the story of the people who made it. We all do, right? Exactly. You want to know the story of the At the beginning. And then I want to follow you as you grow. You know what I'm saying? That's the new thing. I want to. I want to see you in your journey, and that catching a documentary 20 years from now. I want to grow with you and, and, yeah, and watch I it. I like you know that. what I'm saying? I like that. So people could go back to this and see you or see me. You know, and say, "Damn, this was 20 years ago," and they can still go to your IG and find some more stuff. And your whole your whole lifestyle has been documented. You know what I'm saying? And this is what I'm doing it for people to really see themselves in a year from now, just to click on something and say, "Damn." Like how I was talking, how I was really, I was mentally there, and then you're physically there. You know what I'm saying? You might have your space next year. Because again, a year is a short period of time, but you can do a lot in a year. The year just came, like last May, yeah. this was just a thought. This was just, okay, the skin recipe, let me make the IG. Like I literally just right. started with IG, and I named it the skin recipe, and then that was it. And then it just, you know, yeah. it, it, it's gradually, it's still growing. You know, I still got a growing following, but I love, and I love the fact that like my followers also engage with me. Like they'll, they really engage, they'll question things. They'll say, hey, what's this? I get tons of DMs, tons, and I love it. Like, I love it. I get tons of DMs like, hey, do you have something for this? What should I do for this? What should I, I love it. Like keep them DMs I'm, coming. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna give them, drop you a gem. All those questions, do a Q&A in your IG. Yeah, I just did one earlier with my good best friend. We did a, awesome. a cute just today, but now I'm about to do one after we get off because I'm I'm in yeah. the mood. <laughs> just do a Q and A, write all the questions down to your DM. You know what I'm saying, and then just speak on it and put it out there. You know what I'm saying, and do a video real quick on each fucking question. You can just you can load up your whole page with all these freaking questions. That's that exactly people. what I'm gonna do. You know what real. I'm saying, and that's the thing. It's all about you teaching the education part. All about educating yourself. Now you're educating a whole load of other people, like myself. Mm-hmm. I'm a binge watch whatever you have now, because you're the authority on that, and that's why I need you. You know, understand that you are the authority now on skincare. So Thank you're that you. subject matter expert that I want to go ahead and follow, and then go ahead and share with everybody else about this authority of this person. Here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I get it completely, and and it makes sense, and that's what you kind of want to look for when you look for the brand. You want to say who's the who's behind the brand, who's the face of the brand. Who's yeah. the brand? I want to get to know her. Why you know what's so good about this product? Why, why the, product? the so last person products. you followed, you binge watched them, whatever they had. 
All right. They had, whether they had YouTube or IG or Snapchat or whatever, TikTok, you binge watch whatever they had on there. Could have right. been binge watching for 10 minutes. You could have been binge watching for three weeks on whatever kind of content they had, how much, how much content they had. Same thing with you as you build your product line, build your content. When you open up your shop, more videos now. Just, you know, get permission, get some permission slips for, for, your, um, for your patrons. Record the whole thing. I, yeah. I, I, just, I just started watching this chick in Florida. She's a chiropractor. For some reason, I'm amazed watching her crack people's backs. It's insane. And that's how I feel about uh, about <laughs> pimple popping videos. I just be so amazed, and people be like, "Why do you like this?" And I'm just like, "It's just so like, I just yeah." Like, so like, that- <laughs> I, I can't even tell that. I just like it. Yeah. Yeah, it so, makes sense completely. Completely. And the, the stuff that you like, you you best believe, you will find the people just like yourself who like the same thing, and they're gonna follow you. They're gonna befriend you. They're gonna help you. They're gonna buy your product. They're gonna be you know, a customer of yours a thousand percent. And that's what you need to do is find your following. You don't need to find no one else's following. Find yours and build it. Make sure you're a good steward like you are now, a good steward of the skin industry. And you'll be mass successful, man, on the real. Thank you. Thank you, Theo. Well, I'm going to work on these yes. orders. I got to ship yes, out. Yes, you, you better. I, listen, I adore you. I love you to death. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you so, so much. Like, so, it, me. means, it means a lot that you've been like, you can take the time out to like help me, give me advice. Absolutely, like, baby. I know you're one call away Absolutely. and you make my aunt so happy. So <laughs> that's, yes, key. that's key. That's so, what family is for, mama. All yes. the kids in this family, I make sure that they follow all their dreams. You know what I'm oh. saying? And I'm going to support all you guys in the family, no matter what it is. You know, I'm not going to, Pigeonhole any of you guys say, no, don't do that stupid shit. Do something of something else I want you to do. No. I want all you guys to be successful in your own right and be happy doing it. And so that means if I got to put my own personal shit aside and figure out what skin is so I can help you, I'm going to do my research, then I start figuring shit out. So when you talk to me, I don't feel like a fucking retard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm going to do my best to support you the best way I can. I don't know something. I'll let you know. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you, hey, that's above my head. I can't help you on this one. But let's figure out who can. Let's find that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I will rock with you to the end of it. Trust me. I love you to death. You'll be mass successful. Thank you. Everybody, go to her website. What's the website? Drop the website. Yes. uh, TheSkinRecipe.online. Um, and then on IG, follow me at the or the dot skin dot recipe. I'm working on them getting this other page that they got deleted. Because I can't just get the recipe, the skin recipe. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's at the dot skin dot recipe. Um, www dot the skin recipe dot online. And I'm gonna post all this stuff, all her her pages yes. and her website all over this podcast once I edit everything. So it's gonna be all up on it. You guys listen, not because she's my niece and I love her to death and she's amazing. That's besides the point. She has good shit. She understands what she's doing. She has a passion for the shit like no other I've ever seen. You got to support her. You got to support yourself. Get your skincare game up. Especially you guys. If I'm going to do it, and when I show you guys the next video we're going to make, we're lovely. Lovely's going to do it, give me a whole facial with her product once we get it in the mail. We're going to freaking make it happen, do a full review, and we'll bring her back on to let her know about the review process. So Thank you.